I'd like you to open your Bibles, if you would please, to the book of Philippians chapter 1. In Philippians chapter 1. It's impossible that all of you would have been here because of your age when we started uh, Crown College in 1991. But we prayed and asked God to guide us and to help us and to show us what he wanted. And the most difficult thing ever is the right faculty. That's it. No doubt about it. And when you're trying to find the people who are going to influence the people, you hope to bring here students, and nothing is more important than that. Someone says, let's build buildings or whatever. I had one man who wanted to write documents, and he thought that was the biggest thing imaginable. If we just got all the I's dotted and the T's crossed and the rules figured out. And I remember when he handed me a proposed handbook, and I honestly had never even thought of it. I just thought... Um, well, we have to do that somewhere along the line, but that wasn't on my mind. I was trying to find the people who would influence the students who came here. Nothing is more important than that. Nothing. Paul is writing these precious people who influenced his life, and he says, Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi with the bishops and deacons. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. I'd like to call your attention to what God says in his word in the sixth verse. Paul has a very tender thing to say to them about the remembrance of them in his heart. With every thought, certain things come to remembrance. But he affirms to them as he's writing from prison, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. In other words, God will finish what he started. God will finish what he started in your life. God will finish what he started in this church. God will finish what he started in the life and ministry of this college. There are times of great difficulty. And we're brought back to put our faith in the Lord, knowing that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. Pretty amazing. But the confidence is not in men, the confidence is in God. I remember having a conversation with the Britons, and Barry said to me, I'm looking out across the water to Catalina Island, but we're hearing gunshots and crime taking place all around us. I'm just praying about the next stage of my life and what God wants to do with me. And we began to pray. And I believed it was God's will for them to come here and help us. So Barry Britton and his wife Midge came. Their children, Lisa, Sarah, Mary, Rachel, Barry Jr., David, Daniel, Jessica. Beautiful children. And they came to put their life and influence here. And uh, that, was, that was good for us, and I trust good for them. I'll ask Mr. Pauly to read something Barry's written in a moment. But I want you to know Barry Britton. I want you to pray for him. Pray for Midge. They're happy Christians. They love the Lord. They're moving forward. Their faith is in God. But they've been asked to deal with something that's very, very difficult, beyond really our imagination to comprehend. In this, what are we going to call it? Illness, disease, infirmity. 
But there are things that will remain constant. The number one is the Lord. God knew before Barry was born all the days of his life and his future. And he's done an amazing work in his life and he's doing that. I believe that this is the greatest opportunity he's ever had in his life to shine for Jesus Christ and to demonstrate that faith is real. And he's doing it. And his wife is doing it. Now Barry Britton graduated from the United States Military Academy at West Point. Quite an achievement, isn't it? He served in the United States Army and retired with the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He holds advanced degrees in engineering, science, and business administration. He moved to Knoxville in 1993 and became a member of the Crown College faculty. Here he has taught in math, education, business, and science for 19 years and has served as a registrar of the college. And uh, with a brilliant mind and capable ability, he, um, he could take all the variables <laughs> and reduce them down to something we simple people could work with. He did an amazing job when he was doing it. And I'm glad God gave him this time with us. And more importantly, I'm glad God gave us this time with him. Now, we don't know exactly what the Lord's going to do, but uh, Barry chose to write something out just in case he'd be asked to say something. He had presumed that he was going to say something. So I'm going to ask Mr. Pauly to come and read his words to us, and then we have a presentation we want to make. Mr. Britton wrote, Pastor Sexton, faculty, and students, thank you for inviting me to be with you during this last chapel service. I can remember a lot of special times we've had right here in this place through the years. If someone is reading these words, it's because I was afraid I might be asked to say something, and I really can't. Not only do I have trouble speaking now, but one of the side effects of ALS is inability to control emotions, and speaking directly to you would be impossible. I'd like to thank Pastor Sexton for showing confidence in me, allowing me to teach here for 19 and a half years. And I would like to express my admiration for my co-faculty for their Christian testimony. I learned much about living the Christian life by observing them in action. I first served 27 years in the military. In fact, I received Christ during my first assignment at Westover Air Force Base in Massachusetts. I'm very thankful the Lord allowed me to be a part of something here at Crown College which is much bigger than all of us. Again, thank you for allowing me to join you this morning. Keep praying that if it's the Lord's will, He will heal me. He is wonderful, merciful, good, compassionate, a faithful friend, and altogether lovely. And you know, Barry has been called upon to deal with what is commonly referred to as Lou Gehrig's disease. And we want to dedicate our yearbook to him. And so for, I hope, the enjoyment of his family and We'll come over this way, gentlemen. They want to get a little film here for us. And uh, we'll have something not obstructed. Turn this way, please. Uh, we brought the dedication pages here and had them framed. And uh, want him to enjoy this. Pictures of his family, his work here. Uh, Brother Britton is an outstanding American. In every sense of the word and a family man. He's loved and admired by his wife and children and served here in such a faithful way. All we're going to do today is make this presentation and have you have an opportunity to come by and speak to him. We have some uh, notes and letters that young people have written and we, uh, we're just happy he's able to be here with us. He's gotten a handy piece of hardware recently and um, that's helped things a bit and also a van to use for that and that's all very, very good. But we want to present this to you. And if we can have someone right here, please, with all of this. Good. Good. And he can operate it. Good for you. Good for you. And I want you to have this. Midge, come on and stand right here on this side if you don't mind. Very good. 
and we want you to have this. And more than just framed pictures, uh, we want you to know how much we deeply appreciate the contribution you've made. The work of God will live and abide forever. There's no doubt about that. And there'll be uh, so many students, there's been thousands of them come through here, who will recall your help, your ministry to them. I think God did an amazing thing to be able to place you in such a place of influence. And we give him the glory and want to thank you. Let's give the Britons a big hand, will you please? We'll get some more appropriate pictures here in just a moment. Good. Can you stand here a minute? Good. Let's put that right over there on the top step. Can you come over this way? Thank you. Come on over here. Good. Some of the kids and grandkids are here. We want them to come near the front. But we're going to have a prayer, <clears throat> and I want you to come by. I want you to come by and take the time. We're going to let all of our seniors do that first because they have a meeting, and then if you're going to be involved in, in the um, classes in the summer, you've got to get to a meeting. But I want you to take the time. We're cutting everything off at this moment so that you've got the time to come by and tell these noble people that you thank God for the contribution they've made. And in doing so, let them know that you're praying that God will give them the grace. Now, Barry's been called upon to go through this, but his family's been called upon too. And this uh, a prognosis for this particular disease um, could be the most alarming thing, the most horrific thing that anyone could ever imagine going through. But we have a God in heaven who's able to give them grace. And he's given that grace. And they have a beautiful opportunity to magnify the Lord and they're doing it. And this is what Christianity is all about. So I want you to pray that God will help them in a mighty way. We'll ask the faculty to come be first in line here if you'll come please. <clears throat> and then we'll have a prayer together. Hmm. Wonderful. God bless you. We love you folks. You know, it didn't seem like there was but a handful of us carried it on when you all first got here. <laughs> and uh, that made it all the more important for you to do the work that you were doing. He had a special hand in so many things, especially in trying to get uh, those who've been serving the military able to come here and lots of different things. Everything you could imagine that someone had to work with in the foundation of it. They work with. Hey, good to see you here. God bless you. And y'all can stand here with them if you want to or have a seat. Hey, girls, good to see you. Beautiful children. Good. We love you, Daddy and Mama. Love y'all. We're praying for you. Let's pray here together, may we? Our Father, we do thank thee for thy great love to us. We thank thee, Lord God, for the life and ministry that continues in this phase with this family. We thank thee, Lord that they're given to thee. And thy grace will be demonstrated to them in a great way. Continue to work in their lives and help us to be a blessing. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. People want to come by and speak to you.